Welcome to the Gorilla 5 video series. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to load and save budgets into Gorilla. When you first enter the budget module, you will be presented with a blank screen. Your project should be highlighted on the left-hand side of the screen. You have several options to create a budget. First, let's load a sample budget. Click on the green Add button. From the New Budget dialog box, select Load. Next, you will be presented with a My Budgets dialog box with three tabs. The first tab is labeled My Budgets. This list shows you budgets that are stored in the My Budgets folder on your hard drive. Let's hide Gorilla and go to the Gorilla 5 folder. If you are on a Macintosh, your Gorilla 5 folder will be in your Applications folder. If you are on Windows, your Gorilla 5 folder will, by default installation, be on your root C drive. In the Gorilla 5 folder, you will find a Saved Budgets folder. In that folder, you will find a My Budgets folder. This is the default folder where all budget files are saved. You can specify where you want the My Budgets folder to be using the Change File Path command. Let's take a look at that right now. This footstep button allows you to modify the save path for the My Budgets folder. So if you want to save your budgets on another hard drive, or simply another folder on your hard drive, click here and modify the save file path. As you can see here, the current path for the My Budgets folder is the saved budgets folder in the Gorilla 5 folder. Let's click on the Templates tab. This will show you all the budgets in the Budget Templates folder and the Studio Budgets folder. The last tab is the Samples tab. This list shows you all the budgets in the Sample Budgets folder. The budgets in this folder all have rates attached to them. Let's go back to the My Budgets tab and select a budget. Upon loading a budget, you are asked to link it to an existing schedule. I'm going to link this budget to my schedule. As you can see, I have two schedules attached to this project. I'm going to select one. After the budget is loaded, you can see it in the list of loaded budgets. You can see that the budget is linked to a schedule. Let's examine some of these buttons. To unlink this schedule from this budget, click on the Unlink button. You can then link the budget to a different schedule or just leave it blank. This button is the Accounting button. If you want to track expenses against your budget, leave this button active. By default, when you load a budget, Accounting mode is turned on. This will show you a summary of the budget total. If you want to add primary crew contact information on the header of your budget reports, click here. If you link the budget to a schedule, you can pull information from the contacts module, including director name, producer name, etc. This is the Save button. Although Gorilla does save your information as you work, it is highly recommended that you save your budget after every session. This will save your budget to a file outside of Gorilla, for example, to the My Budgets folder for backup. Notice that the checkbox is checked for Automatically Save to My Budgets folder. This means that if we save the budget by clicking OK, we will not be prompted to save the budget to a physical location on your hard drive. It will automatically be placed in the My Budgets folder. If you deselect this checkbox, you will be prompted to select a location to save the budget file. To show this, I'm going to deselect the checkbox and click OK. As you can see by the message, you will be prompted to select a save location. You can now choose a folder, or your desktop, or another hard drive to save your budget. I'm going to select the desktop and then select Choose. The save is complete. Let me verify that by hiding Gorilla. And as you can see, the budget file is saved on our desktop with the 
GRB extension. When we return to Gorilla, we can continue working on our budget. Now, any changes we make to this budget from here on out are saved within Gorilla, but are not changed to that saved budget file on our desktop. So, for example, let's say we make more changes and then we want to send this budget file to another Gorilla user. We make the changes and then save it again, then send the budget file on our desktop to another user. In order for the other user to load your budget into their copy of Gorilla, they launch Gorilla and go to the budgeting module. Now, I'm going to delete this budget here because they are not going to have it in their Gorilla. So let's assume now I am the other user. To load the budget, click on the green Add button, select the Load button. Now down here, there is a Load Other button. Click this. Go to the desktop or wherever the budget file has been placed and select it. Then click Open. The budget will now load into Gorilla. Now, just like sharing any other document, whether it be a screenplay, a Photoshop file, or a Word document, any changes the second user makes to this budget will, of course, not be reflected on the original user's computer. So make sure, if you are sharing budget files, to always know who is the current user of the master budget file. That wraps up this lesson. Have a great shoot.